what it do e world crisscrossing wires and uh this is a throwback to uh the Seron that i had uh i had to tear the motor down and replace some hall sensors in it at least check the hall sensors out and check the condition of the motor and uh this is just how easy it is to uh replace the hall sensors in fact i remember now yes uh after the guy got the bike, he ended up blowing the hall sensors and brought it back to me and I replaced the hall sensors. Sorry guys, old man brain, but uh, yes, this is the, what happened. And uh, I'm showing you here how to exchange and replace that hall sensor uh, circuit board. Pretty easy. Check it out. Good morning time, good evening time, good afternoon time, whatever the case may be in your part of the world crisscrossing wires and uh, I said I wasn't going to film this but I'm going to do a little brief uh, filming here and there just to uh, let people know the procedure of switching out a hall sensor for a Suron motor now this is a Suron motor and uh, this is the hall sensor the whole complete hall sensor assembly it needs to be removed uh, as you can see this is how it's connected in there in order to remove it the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to pull that little yellow piece out inside the connector once we pull that little yellow piece out we will use a little pin to unlock those uh, terminals in there and release those terminals so we can pull them out the back side once we pull them out the back side we will be able to pull uh, the wire harness out this way as you can see this is our new one our brand new hall sensor from Luna cycle uh, and it comes without the connector on it for that reason exactly so you can install it in the same manner reverse as reverse the procedure that I just said for removing it um, let's see one thing you also need to make note of is the way that the pins are in the uh, harness. Make sure you know the configuration. Uh, I advise you to take a picture of the connector, hold it in a certain position. This, this connector, you know, uh, it has little, these little things on one side. So make sure you take a picture and, um, you know, know how, which uh, configuration those wires go back very important you don't want to mess that up so uh, another thing I need to do with this motor I already started uh, like I said someone possibly had replaced one of these in the past or for whatever reason had opened this motor up and uh, when they went to seal it back uh, they put a lot of silicone around it so I am having to clean that up and razor blade all of that silicone off of there so uh, this surface can be nice and smooth and flat and also get all the silicone out. This rubber o-ring is supposed to keep the moisture and stuff out so I'm going to have to clean this o-ring up. Uh, I got something to take that silicone off of there, clean it up nice and clean and you got to do the same thing with this side right here as you can see it's globbed up with a whole bunch of silicone all around there so we got to get all that off of there clean that up real nice so uh i'm going to do what i just said and when i complete that i'll come back all right so that's that little part right there see you in a bit so someone's been in this motor doing some kind of mud man look at this this is the old hall sensor. This is the brand new one. Notice it's got all the wires and all the pins all on that one piece. This one has some extra wires and extra pins going to inside the motor. This one, the ground, was tied to the ground over here on that side. And then this other wire was going in. Now I'm going to assume that's some type of temperature sensor. You know, uh, I know some of them don't have temperature sensors. So I think somebody put a temperature sensor inside this motor. I'm not even going to bother with that. Uh, I'm just going to install this new one and call it a day. 
So guys, we are back. So I removed the old hall sensor and lo and behold, I find something in here. Looks like some sort of modification was done because this is the brand new hall sensor. Everything's on this one sensor. This is the old one, but it has, it had an extra ground on this one that was tied to the ground here. And then it had another wire going in there. Now I'm gonna assume that's some type of temperature sensor. But Sorry guys, this is an old video. Y'all know I'm terrible with my editing and uh, <laughs> yeah, I know I said that twice and uh, uploaded the scenes in the wrong order. But yeah, that was a temperature sensor. That's all it was. All right, I'm out. Which again is a temperature sensor wire. So we're just going to go ahead and install a new one, not worry about that and sew it back up, heat shrink over top of this. I'm not going to use someone else's old mod whatever that is so i'm gonna delete that anyway i'll be back when that's done hey youtube so i am back uh i didn't want to have to open the motor but uh unfortunately me and my butterfingers uh while putting while you know putting the hall sensor back on drop one of the little teeny tiny screws through that little hole right there of course it fell right through the hole and on to the motor so I had to open it up anyway great news by me opening it up at least I got to see and know that why this motor had been open before because it's got all brand new bits inside man that's a brand new rotor it looks like a brand new stator uh, everything so while unfortunately I had to open the top uh, I got to see then and let this guy know that uh, man. He's pretty much got a brand new motor man. Look at that That's all nice and shiny in there, man. It's it's super clean Super clean so nothing to worry about as far as motor is concerned All right, that's it uh, Again, I'll be back up later. All right, where we're, we're um, Goes closest to here so the boats go in uh, there's four boats one boat goes in there okay guys I may have messed up a little bit so I'm going to rewind back because I was trying to pause this let me go back uh, to here because I wanted to say something uh, right here while uh, the motor was open all right now, uh, when Cirons first came out and the uh, Segways, people were saying that the X160, the X260s, as far as the Segways, had the exact same motor, just different controllers. And I do know that several people had found out that no, that wasn't exactly true. The X160s and the X260s actually have different size stators inside. This part right here. Um, as far as the magnets, see, uh, these are the magnets around the stator. The X160s had a stator with smaller magnets and the X260s had the normal size stator exactly the same as Siron's, okay? So just an important uh, piece of information to know, you know, um, yeah, I think that's a good piece of info. So just in case you have uh, X160, um, yeah, know that your motor has a smaller stator and may not be able to handle as much power as the X260s. Alright, so I'm going to unpause this. Uh, it's probably going to be jumpy around right before I paused it because I was trying to figure out if it was actually paused or not. Alright, we'll continue on. Let's see if I can get this thing running again <laughs> with this crazy app. in there man it's it's super clean super clean so nothing to worry about as far as motor is concerned 
All right, that's it. Uh, again, I'll be back when I got that all. I really messed that up. up. Sorry. Later. All right, E. Where we're back, and uh, I almost forgot about you guys. I started mounting the motor up, but uh, anyway, so it's pretty simple. The side where the phase wires are um, goes closest to here. So the bolts go in. Uh, there's four bolts. One bolt goes in there. Another bolt goes in there, but it's one of the long bolts. It's a long bolt because there's a little uh, uh, sleeve right here that's, you know, acts as a spacer. So a long bolt goes there. Another long bolt goes here, and not only that, the bolt with the little square uh, washers on it, they keep it in the track, they go there as well, so it can pivot up and down and put tension on that belt. That goes on both sides. Both of these bolts has that little square washer, slides up and down in that track. Also, there's uh, another piece that looks like a moon. It's a... Uh, it's a round moon piece as you can see right here and what that piece actually does is if you look at it like this it's I haven't tightened it up yet but when you push on that it will pivot the motor so it puts tension on the belt so as you push that uh, it puts tension on the belt I put these things a little too tight for me to move it so uh, let me loosen those a little bit so you can see how that pivots. I was tightening all I was getting ready to tighten this down and I thought about it. I forgot to show you guys this. Alright, so. As you can see, the motor lifts up and they slide up in these tracks. I started tightening it down. I gotta loosen all that back up. But anyway. See how it just fell down when I loosen that bolt. But see that? See how that half moon piece rotates as it puts tension on the belt? So as you tighten this side over there, you can push down on that. And that will put help put tension on the belt when you have that up. So that's all it does. Then you tighten everything down. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Matter of fact, uh, where is my, I have to get my little stand and uh, see if I can show you guys that real quick while I'm tightening this up. Let's see if we can get you in there so you can see what's going on here. Okay. Man, this one to act crazy right now. All right, turn it around like that. Okay. All right, so let me get my ratchet. Let me lift up on this, and let me get these a, a little bit of a tighten so it's not too loose. Put a little bit of tension on it so the motor kind of stays in place. Put a little bit more tension on this screw here, but as you can see, when I lift up on the motor and push that little moon piece down, that puts tension on the belt. Let me get this a little bit more tension. And this little moon piece has notches on it. So when you get it in position, like I'm gonna use this to push it down. So that puts some nice, bit of tension on the belt so we'll go ahead and tighten it up from there we don't want to do it too tight because we don't want to strip anything but once all that's locked down it ain't going nowhere Side. All right, and the motor is locked in. 
and notice there's plenty of tension on that belt as it should be it should be nice and taut okay so that's pretty much it got the motor mounted back in and uh, all the phase wires and the uh, hall sensor harness is on this side so we're gonna flip it back over and uh, put the controller back up